Here's my experience to this episode of My Hero Academia Snatch Chat. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the latest update to add it to the game. And we're going to hop right into the EX event, which is actually a battle royale. We can get this uh, Kaminari right here. That's the wrong thing. That's also the wrong thing. But uh, you get him in this menu, the TP menu. And you, you only need a thousand points for him to get your first one. Uh, and I think as you keep winning, you get more and more. Uh, I think the, yeah, these are the rewards. So, you know, depending on your rank, you'll get these rewards. And they and you get your rewards daily. Which is really nice, as opposed to, you know, having to hold your rank for an entire week. Just to get the rewards you want. And, uh, this is the new Kaminari. His, his stats aren't really all that, but... It is a Kaminari unit, so I don't really think that, that mean people care about him, so I doubt they would make him like really good. But the thing that we I think we all care about the most is the new banner that add, that got added to the game. We have a blue deck a blue five star Deku and a yellow five star Uraraka. Let's start for Deku. Deku's passive is attack plus fifteen. And HP plus 15. It reduces damage from green units by 15%. And his smash attack is... It's, it's the exact same as uh, that EX full power Deku. He just rushes forward. And he gains an attack boost for 10 seconds. And his stats are 6k health, 5k attack, and 4k defense. And now on to Uraraka. Her passive is reduce damage from... Purple units by 15% and consume 10% less SP. Her smash attack is she floats in the air and then a star comes down and attacks everything in front of her. And it gives her an attack, defense, and speed boost for her and her allies for 10 seconds. She, well, that's actually a lot better than I was expecting, actually. Her stats are 7k health, 4k attack, and almost 5k defense. Almost. And we also have the gadget banner. Uh, what does the gadget do? Deku's increases it increases Deku's health by 70, his attack by 60, and his defense by 60, and his SP by 10. And if you have a balanced class unit, which is why I assume this new Deku is, it, it increases their attack by 11%. And Oraka's ribbon gives SP 7% SP, 7 SP for yellow units. And when it's put on Oraka, it gives her plus, 50, plus 150 HP and 120 defense. But, uh, yeah. I think that's all for this event, actually. Wait, it says right here in Discord that there's going to be a part two of this event. So, save up your songs for that, just in case there's something better. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think there's, I don't think I missed anything. So let's just hop right into the Battle Royales. I already did a few off screen, but uh, and this is the unit I was going with, Smash Test All Might. But let's try out uh, what's his face? Oh, I can, I have a second one. And honestly, I'm not expecting him to do well, like at all. I'm I'm playing on three All Might dolls just because in in Battle Royale you just you just need to nuke basically that's all that really matters. That's the best way to defeat your opponent just nuking them.
Oh my god! Oh my! Uh, 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 oh, okay. Lovely, dog. Lovely. Let's try another game. I have to actually try and dodge. Oh, yeah. I had to do it slower because he's moving slower. Well, we actually won that time. I still think you should bring like a Smash Fest Junior or something. Because if that was Smash All Might, I wouldn't have lost that first match. I would have just instantly killed that man. Or at worst, like, put, almost killed him and had to do like two punches. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.